Welcome back to another video here. So we are headed down the road, leaving actually Indy, headed up towards our home. What did we find out, Reagan? Well, without the gender, but I was a little bit confused at first because I didn't see the confetti. So you can see in the video, Dad like running over there and like checking, but you could tell he was super excited because he's had both girls and he's never had a boy. And for me, of course, I mean, I had a feeling. I mean, I knew the whole time, right? I knew. I, I knew. She didn't know. Yes, Let's, I Let me did. tell you. She was, like, wearing the girl sticker. No, it was not. The, the little pink necklaces. Oh, no. She's, like, team girl. I know it's going to be a girl. Like, I, like it'd be cool for a boy, but I know it's going to be a girl. And I'll, you know, whatever, you know. And it was just guesses and hopes either way, you know. But regardless, we're happy. I was going to be happy either way. Boy or girl. I already told her that before we found out. I knew that because I was like, this is too easy. Like, this pregnancy has been way too easy. And everybody tells me you're not throwing up a lot, then it's most likely, you know, boy. Yeah. So. That just, listen, that just shows that we are less difficult even at the start, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Right, right, right. Wait until you get pee on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Diaper. We, we're not going to get into that. But uh, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys are doing great. We are on our way back to our house. We're going to be working on some shop progress today, and it is a Sunday. So there's there was another thing I was going to do for my video regarding wheels and tires and stuff. And hopefully we can get some progress. And I'm really hoping, the last video was a lot of discussion because I was asking a lot of questions regarding insulation and stuff. You know, there's still going to be some of that because I'm going to want some help along the way and some pointers. But for the most part, we should be able to really get like underway with like just straight progress today. I've got some people coming over to help out. My brother, one of his friends, my father-in-law is going to be up there. And we're just going to try to press on and get that shop completely empty today so we can actually get to insulating and throwing up some OSB board or however we're gonna work that out. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet. Shop update. Just got in here and took down that big plasticky stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? This big old trap that's hanging down in front of there. It's supposed to be a windbreak for when they came in and out of the barn. Got that taken out, got Rosine backed out. Burning some of that more, more of that old moly hay. Trying to get this all cleaned out. My brother and his friend, as well as my dad, are all gonna be coming over here soon. And my brother and his friend are gonna help me haul all this hay out of here and all these pallets and slowly just burn them controllably, keeping the fire up about the same size it is right now. And just as it burns down, put more on. As it burns down, put more on. You guys get the idea. That way, we can get rid of all this and start to prep for, you know, throwing on our insulation along with boarding up the walls to seal it off. Now, we still don't know exactly what route we're gonna go in terms of how we're gonna insulate. I did get tons of comments though stating that we should do foam insulation or spray on insulation. So I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do. That's considered. We may or may not still do that. We're gonna work through figuring out exactly what all we're gonna need and then we're gonna move on to getting that done. But first, right now I gotta run to my dad's barn because I left my car jack over there. So if I don't have the jack, I can't put these wheels and tires back behind me here on my wife's truck. So I'm gonna go to get the jack, come back here, and we're gonna get to throwing those on her truck, and hopefully that's a pretty smooth process. And then after that, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna get for you guys, but we're gonna try to put something together. If you wanna enter to win this truck, you guys are down to the last 48 hours. Here, we're gonna run a test. 
I haven't done any work in the shop yet in terms of like on a truck. We're gonna see how much room we have once we get this thing backed in. It's actually not too bad for uh, the shop not being done yet. So as you can see, you got plenty of room to roll a big old tire along the side of this wall. Pop this off, get another one on. Of course, this post is still in here, which is going to get removed. And on this side, you've got all kinds of room. Pulling out with the wide wheels, so I'll just have to favor this side more, just turn over a little bit. But there's plenty of room. But of course, we still got to get all this out of here, because once all this is opened up, we should be able to fit two trucks in like this pulled in with none of these posts in the way to where we can kind of pull in go over to the side a little bit and then have plenty of room to work around them let's get to swapping out the wheels and tires on this thing and uh, seeing how it looks i've already had 12 wides on this truck before and 14 wides but we're going to put the 20 by 12s and 35s on it and that's a combination we haven't done yet Okay, so we did get the new wheels and tires on Reagan's old truck, my new truck, and uh, looks really good. I love it. It's the 35s by 1250s and the Toyos, the MTs, basically new. I got to get the caps from my dad's place. I forgot them over there when we were in the moving process, but looks freaking mean. Looks really good. So we're going to go in here. We're going to talk to dad for a sec because we're trying to plan out some shop stuff and I'm trying to bounce some ideas off of him. So here's the shop all opened up right now. I mean, I wish it were more space, but it'll have to do. Well, this isn't your first time over here. You've been here over here before. We did a walkthrough right but this is his. It. This is his first time seeing it since I removed this one cosmetic post and got rid of all the horse stuff. And my question to you was, is there the potential here to make it work as a usable, like let's say two truck, three truck, well, realistically two truck shop if you're actually gonna be working on stuff. You can definitely make it work. This doesn't make it easier. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're like sticking their tongue out like, right. good luck insulating it 100% because we're coming in and out of the door all day. We've got some ideas. No, the like, main thing is is just making what you got work and um, yeah, you can make it work for a horse barn, you can make it work for a shop. It's not gonna be necessarily ideal for like a lift or anything like that. I mean, I had the fourth gen in here, the four door short bed, fourth gen in here and it was fine. The yeah. only bummer and this is something that I was talking to him about and I didn't realize until he pointed out, he's like, you know, if you get rid of this post, you still got a hydrant. And I'm like, totally blanked about the hydrant. Like I knew it was there, but I don't know why I was thinking it was not a problem and only the post was, but clearly the hydrant is just as much of a problem as the post because it's directly behind the post. I've dug up many hydrants and well experienced in that. Yeah, unfortunately. Just a matter of trying to find where it's coming from, which probably the house, which is that way and then just rerouting it. Those are the things that we're thinking about. We have to figure out like, what's the best idea for the hydrant location? My guess would be not the middle of the barn not for the the barn. truck stuff. But just lights too. Yeah, and then lights, we need lights, which there are some outlets up there, like if I wanted to plug in, he said he wouldn't do it. <laughs> but for me, I'm like, okay, if I can have two good bright LED light bars that I can like, not truck light bars, but like light bars that I can just plug in there and like hang them from the rafter up there, just to have some good camera light, you know? I mean, that would be fine with me for my application for as much as I'm gonna be out here, which is not a couple hours of, at a time. There's you know? not a whole lot of power coming in. No. And then I think once you figure out what all these extension cords wrapped around everywhere are for, 
<laughs> it'll be a lot easier to figure out your electric situation. Yeah, I seriously didn't even notice that. There's like an extension cord just running in. They just There's one in. going to each of these stalls and they're kind of wrapping across that back wall. I mean, there's like six of them all feeding into here. So, and a little it's crazy. like this, like it's just, it works, I'm sure. But you have like a, a janky a junction box with electric cords. You know, so just, it's just making do. Yeah, it's there. making do, but I'm I'm pretty anal about making sure it's like spot on, so we can figure it out. Here's the parts truck. You just came over and looked at it, didn't you? I have not seen this before. It's a 250 as well. I know it's a 250. I think it's a 360 gasser, two-wheel drive, rust free, grandpa special. Look at it's even got the old aluminum rain guards. Yeah, I was just gonna Bumper hitch. I know. And under this is actually pristine, believe it or not. And the best part is when you look inside and it's like, other than literally being cherry color, it's literally cherry. I mean, it's nice. How's that for 91? Yeah. <laughs> Simple. 81,000 original miles. I bet you turn this thing on, it's got AM radio station playing. <laughs> probably. Rush Limbaugh set channel for the last yeah. 30 years. Yeah, probably. You know what's different too is it doesn't have the, um... well, what is this thing? Yeah, I don't know. It's actually a different type of rotating for four wheel drive. You think that's an aftermarket thing? I mean, it must be. That's kind of cool looking. That's, that's nice though, because those always get seized up and crap. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Where you like snag your nail and you can't quite grip it and then it... Yeah. I remember with wide, you always used to have to take a pair of pliers and... You know, in the winter. Yeah. So what's your thoughts on this thing? What's, what's your first impression? I know what mine was. Mine was... <clears throat> my grandpa had one just like this, but it was 92. So it didn't have that front end. No, just a little bit different, but... Same paint scheme though. Yeah, it's amazing. When I saw that 350 badge, that's kind of cool. I love this. How cool is that? Magnetic. Yeah, and it's got that mechanism, so you're not supposed to be able to steal it easy. But this thing that we've done here, for some of the younger guys, may not know what this is all about. But this is where, if you look at any old cars, even my old tractor has this. This is how you turn the brights on. Instead of doing like the click click right through here on the column, you just. Touch the little button on the bottom. In terms of barn progress here, we are still in the process of burning out a bunch of this stuff. I have my brother and his friend actually over here burning some of this stuff up. Uh, we gotta load it down some more, but this was this was so big and burning so hot that they let it go for about an hour now. But we're trying to get all the rest of the moldy hay out of here um, so we can officially open up some shop space. And we're almost, we're almost to that point to where the hay is out. Stay here, bud. Time to start this whole thing up. You know, I haven't started this truck up for you guys yet. I just realized that. started it up since I bought it and uh, <laughs> he hardly ever drove it so she's a little cold right now. I'm on my way in the new red and white first gen headed to get new tires put on this truck along with new wheels and tires mounted and balanced for the other blue version that we're getting ready to restore. And why did I get new wheels and tires for that already when it's in rough shape? Well, the tires go flat and I'd rather them not go flat. So I just figured I'm gonna put this setup on it anyways. Let's just put it on it now. Well, let me know what you think of the new setup on the white fourth gen. Let me know what you guys think in terms of ideas for that shop and also the progress with just everything going down. Do not forget, if you want to enter to win the 2001 73 Power Stroke plus $5,000 cash, you're down to the last 48 hours to win that truck plus $5,000 cash. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.
Well everybody, diesel giveaway number 13 is here and it is almost gone. So if you want to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash, every $5 gets you five entries to win and then the giveaway will be over on March 18th. So if you haven't done so yet, get entered to win this truck because time is running out, we're gonna need a winner and it might as well be you. So head on over to lmpgear.com and get entered while you can.